main pedestrian street, Strøget, is one of the oldest and longest pedestrian streets in the world. It stretches from City Hall Square down to King Square, and some of the oldest buildings are dating back to the early 1600s. Strøget is actually a collection of streets that are spread out from this central thoroughfare. So you also want to check out the many smaller streets, like this little eclectic shopping and cafe street. It's called Strede, which literally means the alley. But don't try to pronounce Strede, because just like Strede, it sounds like you're talking with food in your mouth. Another small street is Fiolstrede, or in English, Violet Alley. And over here you can see the side of... Let's find a better angle. And over here you can see the side of the Church of Our Lady. This is where Queen Margaret I got married in the year 1363. And the most recent royal wedding was in 2004, when Frederick, the Crown Prince of Denmark, married Mary Elizabeth, an Australian woman he met on a pub in Sydney. Who starred next to Mads Mikkelsen in the Danish drama from 2012, A Royal Affair? This Swedish actress played a humanoid robot in Ex Machina. She played Laura Croft in Tomb Raider from 2018. And she starred next to Eddie Redmayne in The Danish Girl. The building over here is University of Copenhagen. And the memorial down there. Let's get closer. Here it is. This memorial is dedicated to Inge Lehmann, the geophysicist who became the first woman to be honored with the William Bowie Medal by the American Geophysical Union. And she even got an asteroid named after her. Her research discovered the structure and composition of the Earth's core, and maybe that led to the sci-fi disaster film from 2003, The Call, who played the leading role of the professor of geophysics, Josh Keyes. You also know him as the US president in Olympus Has Fallen and London Has Fallen. The bust over here is depicting Nils Bohr, the Danish physicist and Nobel Prize winner, who made foundational contributions to the understanding of atomic structure and quantum theory. He was about to be arrested by the Germans during World War II, but he managed to escape to Sweden and from there to England, where he became part of the research and development of the first atomic bomb. What was the name of this project called, which was led by the United States? Since we are speaking of World War II, this is the building where six members of Holger Danske, a Danish resistance group, were arrested and executed by Gestapo. A splendid Danish movie was made in 2008 about two of the resistance fighters. The movie is titled Flame and Citroen, which were their nicknames. 
who played the role of the Citroen. You also know him as the Bond villain, Le Chiffre in Casino Royale, as Dr. Hannibal Lecter in the television series Hannibal, and as Jellard Grindelwald in The Secrets of Dumbledore. Always had that dream like my daddy before me, so I started writing songs, I started writing stories, something about that glory just always seemed to bore me, cause only those I really love will never really know me once i was 20 years old my story got told before the morning sun when life was lonely once i was 20 years old we cannot talk about pedestrian shopping streets without mentioning Kumagel. And it's not because of fashionable cosmetic stores like Sephora. And it's not because it's the location of Hammer's old fitness center. It's not even because of this magnificent building, the Round Tower, the oldest functioning astronomical observatory in Europe, built in 1637. You can find a one-third scale replica of the tower in a city in Santa Barbara County in California. What's the name of this city, which is built by Danish immigrants? Just look at this marble, rising a staggering 114 feet up in the sky. Let's take a walk up to the observation deck. There are no stairs inside because it's designed to allow a horse and carriage to transport heavy instruments up to the observatory. Now we are walking here, just like 300 years ago, when the Russian Tsar Peter the Great and his wife Catherine I ascended the staircase on horseback. Catherine would later on become the first woman to rule Imperial Russia. And a few decades later, we got Catherine II, aka Catherine the Great. Her life has been depicted in movies by legendary actresses such as Marlene Dietrich, Mae West and Helen Mirren. But which Soto actress portrayed her in 1991? Jeg ved, at du vil gøre det samme for mig Er du blevet hostlet? Har du fået dit hjerte knust? Vil jeg bede tossen pænt om at gå sin vej? Tag dig med ud i byen for at glemme det hele og få en tjus Fordi jeg ved, at du vil gøre det samme for mig